As I was just giving the previous episode a title, this was popping up. And this is what I spoke about when we adopted the Hunter Focus. Your friend, or rather, my friend Bishop Slabine has sent me a gift. It is a small puppy, but of the finest pedigree and destined to grow into a great hunting dog. Thank you, friend. I, of course, will accept this gracious gift. And as you can see, it gives me plus one diplomacy and plus one health, which is the more interesting. Now we can give it a name, like Faithful, Hunter, Tricky. And I feel like we have done quite the tricky thing, so he will be tricky. Our brave Irish troops have bravely Irished in the south, which kind of means perished. <laughs> and now we have failed increasing our troops, and so now uh, troops are not increasing as well as they were before. And see, my faithful hunting dog is always around and always happy to see me. It is good to have such a faithful friend. And thus we lose the trade stressed, which isn't a great trait to have. Perfect. This is going well, really well. What we claims can we press? Nothing interesting. Why could I even declare war? Huh. So despite our most valiant efforts, she is losing. Which is a shame. Great big shame. Oh look, Glitterhoof is a woman actually. Because Glitterhoof is female. <laughs> Oh boy, this this game, I tell you. Good dog. My dog is growing quickly and is no longer a little puppy. He runs fast and has a keen nose and my dog handlers praise his good character. Lovely. So she would like to marry my nephew now. As he has come of age, you may have him. Take him off our hands. The scoundrel. Now she has a few more retinues as me. Which I could take personal and, you know, start measuring up against her. Oh, I was shocked for a moment. I thought, where did all my stuff go? Okay, now we have 745 gold. There's several things that we could do with it. We could go for a great work and save up a little more. I've never done this because this was introduced with just the last patch. But it's quite interesting actually. However, this costs gold per month and I don't earn enough. Well, I do, but my heirs might not reliably earn enough to do this. So instead, we're going to have us a smith. Let's find a smith. So we have a choice, a deadly weapon, an armor, goldsmith. Let's go for armor. I think a new set of armor might be great. So we will now be presented with a bunch of choices among this one. Yes, definitely going for more majesty. There's no question about this one. Oh no, our ally lost. Shame. Are we still allies? Hey girl, oh yes we are. See, I honored the alliance with our great, great army that we sent there. Great indeed. All right. So my marshal has told me about a remarkable armorsmith residing in Uy Main. He suggests that I invite the man to my court to see his work for myself. If he manages to impress me, I can order my own custom item be made. A fine idea, my marshal. He likes it because I'm praising him. So let's have him. Let's see what he wants to sell us. Once the armorsmith's craftsmanship had been 
checked by my most knowledgeable attendants and ensure the quality was sufficient, I receive him in the throne room. He introduced himself as Master Dergus and gestured towards his numerous assistants who all carried examples of his work. Does my king have anything special in mind? I am in need of protection. Make me a strong and sturdy set of armor. Which is the best type of armor. Right. A set of armor, I see. An excellent choice, my king, says Master Dergus and calls forward an assistant's cradling several set of armors in his arm. I have a couple of examples here. One must determine what one need and how much one is willing to pay, though they would all serve your highness well. Craft me something of high quality that I can bring with me to combat. This costs me 100 gold, but we are very willing to pay that price, as steep as it might be. Let's look. The price of decadence. Oh yes, the Muslims have uh, their own... Um, mechanic which is called decadence. We might look into this at some point but currently we're just going to call them bloated fools and be done with it. What I wanted to check is how much money does she have? Not a lot. As you can see we are earning hand over fist here. Having decided to check up on Master Dergus's progress I strolled over to his forge. I did not find him working on the project I commissioned but instead working on a different task specifically for my wife Queen Lanswinda. I'm so sorry. Alright, so... We have a few chances here. We could spend some prestige and let him do something else. We could throw him out, which... <laughs> we lose our money, our deposit. Everybody might kind of get upset here. We could kill him. Our wife won't like it. Uh, actually, let's. We have enough money to get another smith. <laughs> right, okay. In two years, we can look for another smith. But we could also go ahead and up, 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 compose a book, which is apparently much, much more expensive now. But maybe it becomes an artifact, so let's do. Let's compose a book. When I inform my council of my intention to console, compose a piece of literature, they nod eagerly. Naturally, my wise lord, anything else would be doing your people a disservice. The council members face reddened as I brush off the compliment. What topic will you be treating? Another continues. Oh yes. So, we are really good at war, so I will be tackling the complexity of war. Uh, something along those lines. We're old now, so it's time to spend our money on frivolous things. <laughs> Let's spend our prestige, we can't take it to the grave. Oh, we actually can. Because our score... ...goes up based on uh, the prestige and piety they have when they die. So... Yeah. We still have a lot of piety, which we can't really reliably spend on anything. But that's fine. We could release him. Well, we can't really because we don't have enough prestige. How about you guys become our tributary? What do you think? Yeah, I sure you would like that. Where have all our allies gone? Oh no, they're still all there. They just might not want to join us. Ah, well. Good enough. Let's check our vassals. I haven't looked here in a while. Oh, look there. Quite a bunch of bishops we've got. They're not paying their due. 
Oh well. We're doing well. So... Oh, let's stick someone down here. They're a little bit squishy. Yeah. There's a bunch of event spawn troops. Well, we don't care. Let's extort tribute and take our Irishman with us. So, let's call him to arms. And him. And raise our own troops to the roof. Yes, of course you. All right. Let us <laughs> resolve this conflict peacefully. In exchange for putting a stop to this war and preventing bloodshed, I will agree to your demands. And yeah, he loses some prestige. I don't really gain any prestige. So honestly, we're doing this for the prestige, so we're not really taking his weak, weak attempts to get out of a true, real Irish war as they have ravaged the landscape for many a year now. Let's set our allies to hunt down troops, both of them, as we go to siege. Actually, we could go to kill and then to siege. I'm a bit concerned by my son Indretach eating so much as he does might not it's not good for him. Well, but it's not our business, so he shall become fat. A fat Irishman. Has he become fat? Eh, no, not yet. Alright, we have um, taken a prisoner who is a baron. Which, no, he's a mayor, but those sometimes have enough money to pay themselves free. This one didn't. A daughter! Another poor daughter! Honestly, they're all gonna be... They're all gonna be called... After this fantastic lady. Every single female of my dynasty in this generation is gonna be called Finert. But she has a sister. So she's going to be Finert too. <laughs> so we're having a little bit of attrition here. Nothing to worry about too much. As the farmers prepare for sowing their spring crops, your Kurt Chaplin suggests that you bring up out the holy relics in possession. Oh yeah, let's let's bless the people. Let's bless them. Can we look for another smith? Not yet. So what is going on over here? There's a lot of armies. Okay, there's a invasion. And a holy war. Lots of things going on. With my illustrious education in all affairs of state and diplomacy, I should have no trouble finding the right way to endear myself to Queen Finert. So let's send an envoy to a realm with our diplomatic skills and wiles. Oh, you should have no issue with that invasion. Wonderful, she's touched. So slowly but surely, we're endearing ourselves to her. More comprehensively. People are really banding together to stave off this invasion. Invasions can be quite strong, so it's probably for the best.
Right, we have one. So we shall take our due. 200 prestige is ours now. And why are we doing this? Because we're getting old, but we have a claim, a weak claim on this. So we have to release him of his bond to us so we can take it. We will not let this opportunity pass. And as you can see, the war host, the invasion of the Norsemen is actually really, really strong. So this might be more trouble than they bargained for. We're not involved in this at all. Though I do believe we could offer to join him war. Which let's check on this war, honestly. Let's check on this war. We might still jump in at the end there. Let's release him. And instantly declare war. Oh, a courtier of ours has this claim. That's not our claim. What? I have this claim. Why can't I press it for myself? Alright, sometimes this game does this. Uh... So let's go back to extorting tribute from him. That wasn't ideal. Not ideal at all. Let's call him to arms. And him. Let's raise our troops again to the roof. Put them all together. And let's have a little fight here. And then let's have a little fight over here. Where our troops are kind of running into their death. Unfortunate. We have a new heir. My son has died. In battle. So this wasn't a good idea. She is now our heir. Alright, okay. Who are we losing people to? Her and her. Okay, so apparently girls do get something in succession, it looks like. It's a shame. I hope my granddaughters would inherit. Well, so is fate sometimes. So it is. Let's send them hunting. I don't know what all these armies are doing there. Okay, we're called into war. So we'll join it and then we'll take care of this. Of this invading horde. Let's take care of it real quick. So we can go back to what really matters. Generating tributaries. <laughs> Right, okay. So she severely needs children. Oh, we have a grandson? Interesting. It's not even too terrible. So our line is very secure, as you can see. It's lots of heirs. And we don't mind too much if we lose the chiefdoms here. We didn't need them in the past, we're not going to need them in the future. We're doing just fine without. So 
So are there more troops? Yeah, over there. Viking invaders. Our ally is kind of losing there. Let's jump in and help. Make sure things don't go awry. Good. Perfect. So this war has been resolved. Um, how many more troops can we get? A few more. Let's stand down our troops. Walk over here. So at this point, we would like to try and prolong our life a little bit. We're not going to help her because we don't mind her stuff getting split up. Because the Norsemen, we can fight them. That's fine. Fine by us. Fine by us indeed. So we could raise our 3,000 to help fight up here and we're going to do it. Because why not? Alright, can we look for another smith? Yes, we can. Let's do this. And we'll try again for another set of armor and hope for the best there. I wonder if my book is still being written. Oh, yes. We meet her. Let's talk strategy, lady. My lady. Oh, she was impressed. Quite so. Alright, let's send our troops over to, LI, to our LI. And see what we can't achieve. Maybe we die in glorious battle. Let's find another good smith. Let's hope this guy will do us a better service than the other one. Ah, oh, it's the same thing again. Guy, focus on your work. Why are these all so unreliable, honestly? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's attach and see if maybe he attacks. Instead of just standing around defending. A bastard daughter. No, she shall not. Shall not, I say. Carry the name. That great, strong name. Who did we just form an alliance with? Someone here. Which is fine. Alright, let's beat the Norsemen back into the sea. They shall not land on these shores and take hold. Well, they can still do that in Ireland, but, but not on these shores! Right. Okay, so he has sent us some chainmail armor, which is now in our treasury. Let's let's check it out. What did he make for us? Quality one. Well, it's not great, but it's also not not too terrible. So we'll keep sending out for Smith. Spend our gold in such a way. Let's detach and go hunt some Norsemen. The Irish don't wait for fate to find them. 
The Irish go fight for fate to find them. I'm going to hunt them. They shall not defeat our allies. I hope. Well, they might there, but they're not going to get away with it. There we go. Another prisoner for us. All right, this war was won successfully, so we can bring home our troops. Everyone can marry. Lovely. I still don't fully know what this army is. Tell me, people, what is this army? What are you doing? No idea. I could probably find out, but that would require some thinking. And it's already quite late, so no thinking to be found here. Not today. <laughs>